Hi everyone and welcome back to Total Coins. So in today's video we're going to be doing another £2 coin hunt. We've got our £500 bag of fifty of £2, sorry, <laughs> just finished film, filming a 50p hunt so a bit uh, all over the shot. I think you will have probably, you would have probably seen the video actually that I've just filmed. Um, it was, I think it's the one that went up on Tuesday. So you will probably know why I'm a bit all over the place. <laughs> but I've had a bit of time to chill out now, so I'm all good to go with a two pound hunt. Right, so back on track. Before we get to the album, just wanted to say, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. So let's have a look at the album. And still not a lot changing with the two pound album. So we are still missing Commonwealth Games Northern Ireland and Scotland and also the Mary Rose. So that is the one that I'm most desperate to find. As I say, I've found rarer coins than the Mary Rose quite frequently, but for some reason cannot find that one. And then we've got a full page on the end there. But with that, let's crack on and we'll see what we can find in this bag. Hopefully my luck from the last video actually carries on and I am able to get a new one for the book. So what we'll do is, is as normal, we'll do the first bag in real time. And I'm just gonna say straight off the bat, if you guys can hear a bit of noise in the background, it's because I have actually got a fan in the corner of the studio, just because it has been getting so unbelievably hot while I've been filming. But the first coin we've got out is Technologies. So don't look at keeping any of the Technologies as they're all quite highly minted. But other than that, stuff like that, which is a DNA Double Helix. A really nice coin. I really do like that design. And yeah, it is up the right way. I thought it was up the wrong way then for a minute. <laughs> so that gets us off the starting blocks. But other than that, nothing else in that first bag. So what we'll do now is we will speed up until we get to something interesting. Next up, we've got a rugby. So with the rugby's, there are you can find them with a slight miss strike on the side of the coin. So it will actually say Rugby World Cup. And can I see it? And go. So you see it, 1999. But sometimes the one will completely disappear in the actual sort of, uh, I can't remember what it's called on the side of the coin. But yeah, so that is a slight variant to look out for. We've got a Brunel's Achievements. So it depicts the arches at Paddington Station. And this is actually part of a two coin set. You've got Brunel's Achievements and Brunel's Portrait. So we do tend to find both of them in most hunts. They are quite common.
Next up, we have a Trinity House. So another really nice one to look out for. And I can't remember if it was Trinity House people were telling me about the mule. So there is a date there. So I'll have to have a look. I'll double check after the video. And if it is, I will highlight it somewhere on the screen. <laughs> Next up, we have a Charles Dickens. Another coin that I do really, really like. Obviously, his head is made up with the titles of all of his stories, or books, however you want to say it. Next up, we've got an Act of Union. Another really, really nice coin. But once again, another common one. got another act of union and another Trinity house so another hunt actually where it's looking like the common commemoratives are taking over so far that is anyway. And we've got another Brunel's Achievements. And another amazing condition, Navy Centenary. Absolutely brilliant. It is, let me just double check that one actually. I don't think it is a flag error. No, there's just a little tiny scratch just above the mast. Which makes it look a bit like it's got the extra bit of metal for the half flag error. But yeah, another, that's, we've found quite a few of these recently in the absolutely brilliant condition. So they've definitely been, uh, definitely been a lot more of these put into circulation recently. But yeah, really chuffed to find that one. Next up, we've got another, uh, well no, our first one for the hunt, sorry. Uh, we've got an abolition of the slave trade. So with this one, there are actually two different reverse finishes. You've got this one, which has got a textured finish, but you also have got one where it's got a smooth finish. The smooth finish design was only meant for the mint packs. So if you do manage to find that in your change, definitely keep hold of it. Next up, we've got VE Day 2005. Obviously, we are hearing rumours that the 2020 VE Day coin will be getting released in circulation. So, fingers crossed that does, because that will be absolutely brilliant to get a new £2 coin into circulation. And we quickly follow that one up with another Brunel's Achievements.
And we've got Brunel's achievements, number four for the hunt. We've got another Charles Dickens. And a First World War centenary. Very nice. We've got another Charles Dickens there. Actually looking in really good condition actually. So I may check and compare that with the one in the album. That's in a better condition, then we'll swap it out. So, with that, we are on to the last bag. And wow, what a hunt we've had. That is definitely, I think the video title for this one is gonna be Slim Pickings. So we've got quite a few of the common commemoratives, but literally just the one above face value. So, that is going to be the end of today's hunt. Star pool for today is going to be, once again, the Navy Centenary. It has been getting star pool quite a lot recently. But still, an absolutely stunning design. So, as I say, that is going to be the end of today's video. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. Uh, also, you can check out my social media pages. All the links to those will be in the description down below. And with that said, thanks for watching. Really hope you enjoyed today's video. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. All right, bye.